Good morning, everyone. This is Byron Bradford, a.k.a. Brad, coming to you with the Bradford Files. I'm being brought to you today by B12 Fitness Group, www.b12training.fit.com. Go check out the website, get your latest in shakes and nutrients. Number two, Veterans in Crisis. If you have a no veteran in crisis in need or something like that, a 1-877-424-3838, 1-877-424-3838. Now we're going to hop right to this. This is somewhat, some right up the, uh, some I just finished in the military, of course. And, you know, every year we had to do the promotion packet once you made a certain rank. E5, of course, you go to a board. E6, you go to a board. Once you go for senior ranks, if you're enlisted, once you go for senior ranks, you go to some kind of promotion board, a DA board, they call it. Officers, to me, I feel like they get, you know, those that know they have a board, but it's based upon more or less them not getting in trouble and meeting the time requirement. And, you know, I don't know much about that side, but we pretty much on the enlisted side had to uh, make sure your T's was dotted. <clears throat> Everything was dressed right dressing before you proceeded. All right. But anyway, this article just came out uh, written by Megan Myers, uh, July 17th. And the title is called Promotion Packet Photos Are Out. Something they probably shouldn't have been using in the first place because if it's discriminatory, it, it could be very discriminatory in some sense. You know, if, if I want to look at that, yeah. Anyway, very good article. Uh, they said name and sex could be next. I'm not sure about how you can discriminate. They'll find other ways to get around that. You know, they will overt, not covert with it. But anyway, on to the article. Uh, Army says, uh, the Army says this as the Army. <clears throat> I guess it's Army, Big Army, Pentagon. In an effort to level uh, promotion playing field, uh, the Department of Defense is considering stripping out identifying details from the packet and putting it together for board considerations. Okay, they put a board together. All right, following a directive from Dep Defense Secretary Mark Esper to remove photos from that paperwork, top Pentagon officials said Friday discussed the possibility of further streamlining the information available to promotion to promotion boards. To focus on accomplishments and experience, I think that'd be a great move, actually, because uh, people know people. Very military, is a very small family, and uh, someone will take care of somebody. They they definitely can find out how to do that, because they sometimes know who's even on the board. To be honest with you, uh, that'll be a little more difficult this time. Uh, while senior officials have previously acknowledged that photos can affect decisions about a promotion, Esper is also considering whether names or sex may trigger unconscious bias. He said in the town hall live stream from Pentagon briefing room. The discussion came in response to a video message from a black army first sergeant and immigrant. Uh, we're taking a very holistic look at the way boards can, can look at packages by virtue of merit and to promotion uh, from uh, Chairman Lopez said. I know that the secretary and the chairman can agree that we can do better on these boards <laughs> on Wednesday, following the Army's example, Esper released a memo that directed the removal of promotions, uh, packet photos, but also ordered review of ways to encourage diversity and inclusion in the services while rooting our biases. Also, in the list were reviews of training and the equal opportunity programs, as well as grooming standards. After some feedback suggested regulations unfairly uh, burden certain troops. Well, if you don't meet the height and weight standard, you should not be uh, in a leadership position. I think height and weight standard, if that's what they're looking at. However, as a former SART trainer, if you go to SART class and you get kicked out because something in your record, you should not be allowed to go stand in front of the formation and talk about Army values. So we had that a lot, and then guys get promoted. They got kicked out of the program, and that's and we're seeing the we're seeing the. Uh, it's manifesting itself as we speak as with Vanessa again, with all the stuff at Fort Hood throughout the Navy. We have people in leadership positions that can't even go to Stark school right now because they got something in their record that a general will not sign off on them to go to that training. He's not going to put his name on the bottom line for them. OK, and I've witnessed that myself. But anyway, it was the first set of actions from DOD team tasks to recommend improvements with the goal of standing up an independent board of non-military, non-defense officials further down the road. So I think for the most part, I think they're on the right track. Um, they're on the right track. Uh, they, here we go again. He said, these are very difficult conversations. The defense secretary says, I think once again, you get in a group 
and you get over the initial reluctance to have the conversation, people really start talking about talking and you get a great insight into their, their experiences and their perceptions. Um, but you got to have these conversations. But I think they're they're on the right path to doing this, unfortunately. Well, fortunately for me, I'm, I'm out. I no longer deal with that. I don't, you know, <laughs> I don't have to worry about promotions and things of that nature. Um, but having been in that arena before and having to prepare for a promotion board, making sure my uniforms are matched up. And, and I don't talk about how much money the AFIs make or whoever making these ribbons, how much money they make off these ribbons when you have to go get to ribbons. They're like, more ribbons, you got more money you spend. Because it's impressive how little ribbons, that ribbons cost money. And they don't give me money on my paycheck based upon my ribbons. So I think the ribbons thing should go away also. I think ribbons are irrelevant because I can look at somebody's ribbons and tell what this person's been in for whatever or not that. And it's just, all right, wait, know what's going on there. There's no way you can be a, a captain with four or five. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll say a captain. You got a, a captain with with one with one ARCOM and you have one AM. And so you immediately, they immediately give you, well, I got five MSMs. Like, how do you get five MSM as a captain, even as a major? You know, you're not doing that much. Your senior guys are doing all the work. You're just getting the credit, which another story for another day. Understood. But for the most part, I'm glad to get rid of the photos. I think that is, that is somewhat discriminatory in itself. Getting rid of the names, I don't know how that how that's going to play out. But getting rid of the photos, I will say definitely is something that should have been done a long time ago. I know for a fact when I'm sitting in a, in a certain office in a certain position, I get to see incoming people, uh, uh, documentation, ERBs, OERs. You know, I give our officers a pass. They haven't been that long, some of them. Some of them have switched over from, from enlisted OCS. They may have a little more stuff. But when you got a first sergeant comes in there and he and his ERB looks like an E4 or E3, and it's like, you want me to follow this guy? Nah, I'm good. So I, I know firsthand what the problem is with the military. And unfortunately, they won't even, they won't even, when you don't want to face your own demons, I think that's where the problem starts. And I think they got a lot of, they got a lot of um, <clears throat> soul searching to do. They got a hell of a lot of soul searching to do because right now you got people dying on bases and it's not training accidents. It's caused by other soldiers. Or, or they just making bad decisions. You make, you know why you make bad decisions? Because you're watching bad leaders. So when them with them leaders on what those leaders don't understand is that soldier watching you. If you're doing something uh, that is not uh, of, of integrity, of integrity, good integrity, character, guess what? That soldier's gonna go do it too. And then you're gonna get pissed at him when he get caught doing it. But he's watching you. He just came in the military. He been two or three years, so he's only picking up what y'all are showing him. He can get away with. So until we fix that issue, until we fix the leadership issue and all the branches. And then I think we can start making some headway, but you got to fix the, the bigger issues in your society as a whole. The macro, you got to fix the macro before you can mix, fix the micro. You got to fix the macro before you can fix the micro. So once we fix us, our, our society, what's going on and put credible people with, you know, sufficient background and handling issues and having tough conversations, we're going to continue to be in the same just juggernaut for the next 50 years. And, you know, anyway, hey, thank you for your time. This is Byron Braff from the Bradford Files. Please go check out www.b12training.fit.com for your latest shake supplements, anything nutrition related. By the way, we are NSF certified, meaning you're certified for sports. You will not burn hot. All right. And then also veteran in crisis. If you need a veteran, have any help, they need some help. They can call 1-877-424-3838. 1-877-424-3838. Again, if you want to drop me an email or something like that, Email me at Byron Dot Bradford at Yah Byron Dot Bradford three seven at yahoo.com. Byron Dot Bradford three seven at yahoo.com. Again, let's take care of uh take care of your families, be safe. Wear your mask. We had one go down today, had another one go down. You, you, you've seen it, 74 years old, Mr. Herman Kane. Wear your mask, wear your mask, wear your mask. If you'll do nothing else. Wear your mask, social distance, and wash your hands. Again, ladies and gentlemen, from the Bradford Files, this is Byron Bradford, a.k.a. Brad, 20-year military vet, bringing to you all the veteran news. They have a great day.